Hello, it's Sarah. I'm working on this scarecrow and I came across a technique that I figured I'd film. It's called a flip float. I'm going to do a flip float. Now in the directions it says to, I'm doing his little headpiece here. Um, it says shade below the face, right here, and the ruffle valleys with light cinnamon. So the ruffle valleys, okay? <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to assume the Russell Valleys, the Ruffle Valleys are here, and here, and maybe here, because it's to give it that valley peak, valley peak. Um, so I want to show you what I'm going to do. It's called a flip float. I'm going to do it first on my palette paper here because it's a little tricky, and you know I haven't done it in a while. So the first thing I'm going to do is wet the surface. A little bit and then I'm just gonna float as I normally would now that would be water I mean um on the wood piece so oops just drop the brush uh, I'm gonna have to look oh here it is <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna use this color here and I'm gonna load my brush the way I normally do for a float and then what you want to do is float down one side and then flip it and go back to back. So I have both the floats. Then you take your mop brush and tap and tickle it out on both sides. So a flip float actually gets it to be, and then you could kind of go like this. Now I think, I think I like that. I think I'm happy with where that's gonna go. So I'm going to go ahead and move to my piece. And remember, I'm um, going to wet the surface first. So I'm just going to use a flat brush and just gently, not a, not real drippy, just a, a like a shine. I'm going to do this valley first right here. I'm wetting the surface. <clears throat> Loading my brush. And I'm going to put the color here. Then I'm going to flip and I'm going to go right back to back float and then I'm gonna tap it kinda with my and then I'm just gonna go like that and kinda blend them together with my mop brush and it worked I'm so excited I haven't done that in a really long time but I feel like I got the effect that I wanted I kinda went up on his head a little bit all right, let's do it again. We're gonna take a flat brush and some water, blot, and I'm just gonna put some, lay some water down here, and then I'm not, I don't wanna go too heavy with my paint, so I'm just loading right from that runway. Let me come down a little. And I'm just gonna go kinda down the middle of the valley, flip it, and go back to back. And then take your mop brush and just gently go back and forth. I think I did it again. Pretty excited about this, you guys. I haven't done this in so long. See what I mean about Kiwi? Anyway, in my last video I said, if I don't have her with me, she's going to tend to be doing what she's doing now. One more. I'm going to put one here. That might be a little bit too wet. I'm just picking up the paint right from my palette paper here because I don't want to put too much down. And right from that valley, I'm going to go up one side and down the other. Back to back floats. And using a mop brush, tap it down and then gently back and forth. Um. I don't think I'm going to put it over here. I kind of, I want to, but I'm not going to. I think that did the trick. So it wouldn't be right here. It would be right next to it, and I'm just going to leave it. I think that did the trick. <clears throat> um, so that is considered a flip float. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.